Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dish. You often hear the phrase, children are our future, and our Community Connection champion this month takes that very seriously. She is on a mission to help even just one child at a time. This month's Community Connection champion I'm so proud of and I'm so excited to have on set. Her name is Lottie Lewis. Lottie, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. I think that what you've done for just the community in general is outstanding and it's inspiring to see the work that you've done. You've been involved in so many different projects, but one of the things that I really want to focus on that mm -hmm. just blew me away is this right here. This is Emma's house. This That's is something Emma's house. you started literally mm -hmm. from the ground up. Yes. Tell me about what this house provides for your community. Well, this house provides a safe haven for our children. Mm -hmm. um, as well, whether you know, I don't know if you know or not, but Allendale happens to be a very um, poverty stricken place, mm -hmm. and um, there aren't a lot of jobs. So, our, a lot of the parents travel to Hilton Head and other places that take hours to right. get to on a daily basis. They leave home very early and they get home late. That leaves their children to fend for themselves. Right. So my husband and I decided that we wanted to do something to help that situation. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, stand in the gap for those parents exactly. so that children would have a safe haven to come to after school. Um, a place where they could um, do their homework mm -hmm. and have help with that. They could play, a place where we could teach them soft uh, life skills, right. um, counseling and mentoring and whatever they needed. So this is what Emma's House is all, about. is all about. Well, and that is so incredible and inspiring to see that somebody took the initiative to start something like this for her community. Um, what was your other motivation behind this? I mean, besides seeing the need. Well, um, I guess I have to say it started with my mother. Mm -hmm. um, I um, left home 30 years ago, well, it's been more than that now, and um, started a career in New Jersey. And my mother became ill, and so I came back home to take care of her. My mom was known as the purple lady on the corner. There were two things, she loved the color purple, mm -hmm. and she loved her community, mm -hmm. and she loved children. Wow. Okay. Um, after she passed with Alzheimer's, um, I wanted to do something that would honor her, mm -hmm. and just to keep her alive. Right. And so, um, passing this house that lived, that's um, basically kind of right down the street from where we live, and I would complain about it because the house is over a hundred years old and it was just another abandoned house in the community. Right. So my husband and I decided to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So what better way to honor her than to do something with the children in our community. And Lottie, I'm sure she's looking down and she is so proud so. of the things that you have done and I'm sure the community is so grateful. And how do you connect with the community? Or how are people able to connect with Lottie and Emma's house? Well. What we provide at Emma's House, we provide um, uh, tutoring classes for the children. We provide um, exercise classes for them. Um, all kinds of programs that will help them in their daily lives. Mm -hmm. um, there are meetings now at Emma's House. It's actually a neighborhood house. Okay. It is connected to the community. It's right in the middle of the community where, we, where there are lots of children that's all around. Right. So. Um, Right now, as a matter of fact, we have exercise in disguise going on. That's great. We've had camps there for the arts. Um, I am really big on the arts, so I'm often trying to introduce Instill that and it, introduce it. Well, exactly. listen, there's so much that goes on, and we're actually we're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to continue with Lottie to find out more about Emma's house, so you guys don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.